Hello everyone, welcome to the March 2013 Birchbox Man unboxing and overview video. Um, as everyone knows, Birchbox is a monthly subscription box. They were sort of the, the granddaddy of all subscription boxes. Uh, they started with a women's uh, Birchbox, and then April of last year they came out with Birchbox Man. Uh, $10 for women, $20 for men for a monthly uh, box of goodies, um, body care, facial care, uh, grooming items, lifestyle items, uh, fun things generally worth $20 or more, and just a really interesting selection of um, items and products that you then can purchase from the Birchbox store if you wish. Um, they have a good points loyalty system for members who uh, make purchases uh, or write reviews on the products within their boxes. So really great um, company, great service, and a lot of fun to get a box of goodies every month. So without further ado, let's just dive right into our March men's box. And we're actually coming up on the one year anniversary, so hopefully next month for April they'll do something really special uh, for the 12th, or rather 13th, I guess, uh, birch box for men. Let's see. Slide this open. A little drawer here. Set it up. And let's start with the card. Again, I'm going to hide the stuff on the side here just so we can see what the topic is. So March 2013. Gentlemen, during the course of everyday life, we make all kinds of tough decisions, from toss-ups like the 5 versus 12 seeds in our office March Madness pool, not interested in that, that a whole lot, uh, to nail biters like jelly donut versus steel-cut oats for breakfast. This month, we urge you to do your research, map out a strategy, and execute the plan. Pick the stuff that'll help you go the distance. Cheers, Birchbox Man. And the guide includes how to make a tough decision. That's funny, I was actually just reading um, a book on executives and how they make decisions, so nice timing there. Um, and then just, yeah, a little bit, you know, promoting their site and uh, their their guide to all things Birchbox, Birchbox Man. So, let's dive right in. Let's see what we've got. First up. All right. Bottle opener by AreaWare. Okay, let's first read about it, then I'll, well, no, let's open it up, dive in. How many times can I say dive in in the video? <laughs> let's see. Okay, kind of a nice presentation there, slide out box, wrapped in some tissue paper. I'm just going to tear it up here, forgive my mess. Oh, weird, interesting. It is, wow. So it is a wooden, so it's I'm trying to get some focus. Forgive the shakiness here. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if it'll do an autofocus. Sometimes I have to tap on it here. Come on. Braven Hill area wear. And so that is, it feels like a nice solid chunk of wood. And what looks like a nail um, pushed into the side of it. Let's read what they say about how, how it works. Cap catcher, area wear bottle opener, $14 value. A wooden top popper with magnets to catch stray caps and attach to refrigerator. How? Place nail under edge and pull down with a swift tug, bottoms up. Interesting. So really simple, basic, but I guess you just... Let's try to work. Imagine there's a bottle here, I guess. <laughs> Do that, pop it, and then the magnet catches the cap um, and also can be used to put in your fridge. So, strange... Kind of an interesting sort of industrial design, but I mean, if it works, then you know, no complaints there. I don't know that I'd pay fourteen dollars for it, but it's nice to have an interesting, you know, little conversation piece. So that's kind of cool. And then next up is oh, sample not for resale. No kidding. All right, come on. Let's see what is this. Go twenty four seven texture paste. So it looks like we got another hair product. I believe it was last month or the month before that we had the Aribe texturizing paste that I did not enjoy at all. Hopefully this is something better. Uh, let me twist it, sniff it, and feel it, and then we'll read about it. So it's a decent size. It's one of, well, may, not really. It's one of those uh, grooming products that it's clear that the little sort of pot inside here is much smaller, and then this is just a hollow container to make you feel like you're getting more product than you really are. So, um, I, I mean, Go 24-7 is sort of following industry standards there, but I hate that they do that. It's so stupid. It's like, you know, worse than you're getting a bag of chips that has, you know, a quarter of the bag full. At least they have the excuse that there's air to protect it. There's no need to protect this. So it's just, just marketing. Um, it's a hard, really hard 
waxy kind of thing, like hard as butter, it's cold butter. Um, feels like it doesn't have much. It's not a whole lot of, you know, it's not like the stringy, strandy, fibery kind of thing. It smells really interesting, actually. Uh, citrus, a little bit like a cleaner, actually. But a strong sort of lemon citrus. It feels a little sticky on the dry down. It seems to go in well. Put a little piece of my hair. I'm not sure. It, it, my hair might be a little bit long for it. It might be for the short, spiky styles, but let's see what they say. Um, but, but, but pliable hold. Yeah, that makes sense. Texture pays $16. Easy to use styler that adds definition and texture without stiffness. Work a small amount through damp or dry hair and style as desired. So I'll give it a shot. Um, the Aribe one was horrible for my hair. It, like, it added weight, but it added absolutely no hold, and it just made my hair look waxy and heavy, and it had no hold to even, you know, pull my, push my hair back and sort of, uh, you know, a rough part to the side. It, it did not work at all. Um, this feels... You can never really tell until you get it in your hair. It feels like it, it may it may be okay. It might have enough stickiness to it that it will work. But when it says pliable hold, um, that sometimes is really only best for the shortest of hairstyles because um, if it's pliable, the hold's not going to be really strong enough to to hold for your hair in place, let alone for a day running through the city. So we'll see. I'll give it a shot. Um, I've never heard of the company. I'd, I'd be interested to hear more about what they are. There's like nothing... Here's The only thing I don't like about this, actually, I will have a critique for this, is that it doesn't tell us why it's good. There's nothing on here for the, listing the ingredients. Of course, they have their website. It doesn't list the ingredients here or on the card to really tell you any reason why I should buy it over the other hundreds of products in uh, salons and drugstores and special, specialty shops, so... Kind of, I think that's a little stupid, but, well, not stupid, but I just, I'd like to hear more about it. If you're going to try to sell me on the product, sell me on the product. Don't just say it's a pliable hold texture paste. So, granted, you could say that you're giving me a sample to try, but I want to know what I'm trying, you know, sell me on it, essentially. Uh, next up appears to be some sort of little package, maybe coasters, I think. Let's see, give me one second here, and I will. We've got... The self frame wrapped pretty tightly on this. I think this may be a birch box product. Maybe not. Um, mm -mm. Excuse me for the shakes. Cheers. Yeah, so it feels like a leather, two leather, not placemats, I'm sorry, coasters, yeah. Uh, let's see what it says here. Birchbox Man Coasters, $24 for a set of four. Handsome alternative to disintegrating cardboard coasters. Excuse me, disintegrating, I can read. Cardboard coasters pocketed from the bar, set beneath sweaty beverage to protect tabletop from condensation stains. Um, it doesn't say that they're leather, so I feel like they're probably not. They're probably just a, a cheap vinyl. Um, uh, let me see up close. Sorry, forgive me for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just a cheap vinyl, which in that case... $24 for four of them, six bucks a piece is stupid. That's, I mean, I'm going to be honest there, that would be a ripoff. I would never pay that for vinyl coasters. They say cheers on them, which, all right, so it's, it's you know, it's fun, it's cheeky, but, um, it, you know, it's a coaster. It's not, it's not, it's not like some really nice sandstone coaster or artwork or something that would make it worth that. So, I mean, I don't know, would anyone else out there pay? You get kind of sort of a better view of them. Um, and it's not even, if, even as if the stitching here is real stitching. Um, that's just sort of sort of stamped on uh, embossing there. So again, I, I appreciate the Birchbox is trying to create some of their own products, but so far it's been very hit or miss with the quality and the value. They really pump up the value to uh, make themselves look good in these boxes or to, to rip people off when you're charging that much for them. So we'll let that slide. Um, following up with that, another Birchbox product looks like a beer koozie for bottled beer. You just slide that down, you pop your bottle of beer in it, and you've got, you know, insulation. This is kind of uh, cute. It's a, you know, like a, a tree or wooden Im imitation grain there, which is unique for, for what it is. Um, and then it just says their long neck sweater, Birchbox Man Koozie, $4. Lightweight zip up drinking companion to keep bottles chilly and hands dry. Unzip and load preferred long neck. Enjoy repeat within reason. Okay, so far I'm not loving the value of this box. We'll see what, what else we've got in here, though. 
Um, Ton Small Batch Men's Skin Care, providing you with the right tools to prevent and repair all signs of premature aging. Facial repair formula. This is 7 mils or a quarter of an ounce. And of course it says sample. Let's read what it says more. Uh, we specialize in, in the fight against premature aging. It's what we do. Packed with natural antioxidants, vitamins A, B, C, and E, amino acid polymers, and moisturizing agents, the facial repair formula's 13 scientifically proven ingredients provide the strength of a full cabinet in one jar. No fillers, no added fragrance or dyes, never tested on animals. Retinol, which we know is good. Uh, that's what, my focus here, sorry. Niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid, which I've heard is also very good for, I think, softening the skin. Vitamin C ester blend, peptide blend, squalene, or squalene, jojoba oil, apricot kernel oil. These are really, and made in USA, these are great ingredients um, for the, you know, I'm no expert on skincare, but I know a decent amount. Um, again, that crazy packaging for a small little item here. Um, I assume that it's a moisturizer, small batch men's skincare. Um, let's see what it looks like, feels like, smells like. And not taste like. <laughs> okay, so it's a soft cream. There's some in the top of the jar. Before I um, touch it, let's just read what they say about it. Uh, okay, so fine line fighter, Ton facial repair formula, seventy nine dollars. Wow, I assume that's probably for. I would hope at least for maybe two ounces. If this sample is a quarter of an ounce, I would, I would hope seventy nine dollars would be two ounces. Um, small batch, high perform performance cream with retinol to prevent signs of aging. Apply a small amount to a clean face and neck every morning and evening. Um, so it sounds like this is similar to some of the Kiehl's products that I use. Um, they have one that has a lot of vitamin C, which I think, I could be wrong, but I think their vitamin C repair supposedly is less damaging to the skin than retinol. Sometimes people will have reactions or, or get a little bit red or splotchy with retinol, I think. Um, I could be way off, but I, I think that's what I remember when I you know, read the information on the Kiehl's product that I actually do use. And it actually is similarly priced um, if it's something that really lasts you know, for a while and use very small amounts. So I will just dab the tiniest amount here. So just a small sort of cream moisturizer almost, but not a moisturizer. Um, it smells nice. Let me see. Yeah, it just smells like a creamy sort of lotion. Um, so it's, it's for fine lines, for, I assume that it would improve the appearance of skin um, as far as, um, you know, the fine lines, the appearance. I'm sure it'll you know, take away some redness or sort of even the skin tone. So I'll give it a shot. It's, you know, something to add to your, to my arsenal, um, facial repair formula designed to fight all the signs of premature aging. So it sounds good. It sounds like they're using really high quality, um, scientifically proven ingredients. So that's, you know, they've, they've got a good base that they're working with. So I'll do a little more, more research on them and, um, see what they have to offer and, and give it a shot. Can't, can't hurt. And finally, is that it? That actually seems to be it this month. Um, this just says go the distance and talks a bit about uh, some of the products that they are currently offering. So again, so the overview, excuse my dog barking in the background, was the texture paste for the hair, the facial repair formula for the face, the bottle opener, the coasters, and the koozie. Gotta say, for the first month in a while, actually, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this month's box. Um, yeah, so it's, we've got essentially just a couple of cheap bar items that I probably won't use. The bar, the, the bottle opener, which is not bad, and then just um, a sample of a random hair paste, and then the, the nice sample of the facial repair formula. But comparing this to other boxes, if you go through my other videos the past couple of months, they've, some, they've had some jam-packed boxes, um, or boxes with really high quality um, sort of the lifestyle items, whether it be um, you know, the pocket square that's the twenty-some dollar value, a decent shoehorn, um, which was actually Birchbox Man, um, you know, in-house product, which I had no problem with that. It was nicely made. I've been using it. It works nicely. Um, you know, but they, they throw in, you know, really nice, uh, I forget off the top of my head what other things they've had, but, you know, whiskey stones and um, interesting, you know, facial masks, colognes with a decent size sample. Um, but, you know, We've gotten people have gotten underwear. I've I've gotten T-shirts. They've had ties that were great, um, nice socks. So when you compare that to this, if this was my first box, I wouldn't be thrilled. Um, I think they really should limit what they do as far as the what are the pack in items that are there that no one really probably would purchase. You know that no one needs a four dollar beer koozie. No one's gonna buy that really. That's something that you, people just get for free random places. I think. Um, and the coasters, 
there's nothing special about those coasters that, you know, if so, they're, yes, they're a step up from the soggy cardboard coaster that they mention in the description, but that's it. They're not a step up from really any other coaster that you may already have in your home. So, and to say that they're a $6 value per coaster is outlandish. That's just, you know, that's just silly. Um, but I mean, this is interesting. I think it's cool to get this, but really I think the box should have maybe just had the coasters or just the beer koozie. And really the beer koozie could have been something that isn't even included on the card. Um, there was one box I got that it had one or two things that weren't even on the card that were just really extras. There was like a small, um, I think it was from Caratase, like a, a small duffel gym bag, um, really packing in all the extra stuff. You know, they, they've done snacks sometimes, which I didn't love. They included pop chips or something, but it was still, you know, some extra free item. So I really feel like for them to put the coasters and especially the koozie on there as if that's really where the value in your box comes from, is a little bit um, of a cheat. I, I don't, I don't like that. So you know, to get three, four, five items, but two of them are kind of junky. Don't love it. And, and the, the hair paste as well. There's nothing special about that so far. Um, so I would say I'm, in, I'm interested in the the facial repair formula about that company. Um, I will throw this on my fridge as a bottle opener, so I don't have to use the end of my corkscrew to pop off. You know. Uh, beer caps and things like that, but otherwise, overall, kind of disappointed in this box. Um, is it a $20 value? Sure. You know, they, they say that this is worth $14. Um, the facial repair formula is expensive in the full size, um, but for me, the, the coasters and the, the koozie are kind of throwaway items, so um, overall, yeah, I, I certainly won't cancel the subscription. I enjoy it. They are generally hit or miss usually have been hits lately, so just compared to the past couple of boxes I've received, this is a disappointment for sure. Um, but hopefully they are just holding back on us and have something great planned for their first year anniversary for the April boxes um, as they get into the full swing of spring. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up below. I'd be happy to answer that uh, or you know give you more in-depth comments on these products once I use them or past products from other older boxes. And until next time, take care.